Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Negative Zero and today I thought I'd show you something I've been messing around with this weekend. This is the Android offshoot of Open Morrowind, a open source game engine based on the engine used in Bethesda Softworks 2002 open world role playing game Morrowind. Open Morrowind improves upon Bethesda's game engine in certain ways, including additional platform support such as Android. So, what does this mean? Well, if you legally own the game on PC, and I cannot stress that enough, if you copy the files from your PC to your Android device, you can play Morrowind on your Android device with Open Morrowind. Keep in mind though that it's still a work in progress. While it is an impressive feat that it runs at all, the port is not perfect and could use a little love. Let me show you what I mean. Everything you've seen so far has been on my Nvidia Shield TV with a controller. That's fantastic. Wielding your weapons, fighting, and sneaking all work the way that they should. When you're in menus though, the controller works like a mouse, and this is where the biggest problem with this port comes in. In the Open Morrowind startup menu, you have the option of making the on-screen controls invisible, which is what I want to do since I'm not using touch controls. However, when you do that, the mouse pointer in the menu is also invisible. If you can't see the pointer, how are you supposed to click on anything? Making the on-screen controls invisible makes the game unplayable with a controller. And with the on-screen controls made visible, it looks like this. And no, no, I'm, I'm not going to play like this. I think if you're playing on a tablet, it would be fine. I also think there's a scale factor thing, so you can change the size of the text for smaller screens. Keep moving. But for me, if this one thing was fixed, either the mouse pointer is always visible in menus regardless of whether or not the touch controls are visible, or proper controller support is provided for the menus, this would be perfect. Until that's done though, for me it's unplayable. You may think differently if you want to put this on your tablet, although I've read that it's a bit of a battery hog. So if you're interested in putting Open Morrowind on your Android device, you need two things. Well, you need one thing, you need the APK. If you're interested in putting your PC version of your Morrowind onto your Android device, you need all of the files from that. So what I did was I went ahead and put it all on a USB. If you're putting this on a tablet or a phone, you could just plug your uh, phone or tablet into your PC with your, like your charger cable, it ends in a USB, you just plug it right in, you're connected and you can drag the files over. So I went into my Steam library and just copied the entire folder of Morrowind right here. And you can see my data files, there's the EXEs right there. I took all of it, I copied it and I put it on this USB stick. That would be if you were just putting it over onto your tablet, you would just drag those files over. And it doesn't matter where. I went into, I just did it on top here. Like here's the Android folder that we would normally jump into. And if you remember all the Star Wars stuff we've done, the override folders right in there. But I went to, I just went into here and copied and pasted right into there. Uh, where is it? Right here, Morrowind. And it's all the same files. I just did it on top. It's the path right there at the top, storage slash emulated zero Morrowind that you're going to want to use when you go into the app itself. You just copy those over. I'm gonna put a link to the APK. I think I said this. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to the APK in the video. It's in, in the description and you'll be able to get it right from there. It's There's just one thread on the Open Morrowind site for Android and that's this one guy's uh, that's working on it. His thread of what he's putting in and what he's doing. It's basically a one-man job. Now, what am I doing? Oh, oh I, I got to go into Launcher because it is a side-loaded game, and I'm right here. And before we do anything, um, before you can do anything, this line right here at the top has nothing. So I have to put, I have to type that in, and I, and I did, and it's not great to type in on this. Oh, and speaking of typing, I totally forgot to say this before. When you're in game, if you're uh, if you're doing this on a Shield TV or a console with a controller like I am without touch screen, there's a section at the very beginning of the game where you have to type in your name. I had to actually plug in a USB keyboard into my Shield TV to be able to do it. It does not automatically bring up the keyboard. I have read that tablets and phones have the same issue, like the Samsung keyboard does not come up at that point of the game for you to type it in and you're just stuck. 
So what you have to do is download a second app called Gboard. It's, it's I think I think it's short for Google Board. Um, it's a Google product, so it it should be safe and everything. But you download that, and you can use that to type in the uh, the name of the character. That's the only thing I think you have to type in the entire game. The rest is just the regular menu issues that I've already talked about. So anyway, you type in the path, and as much as you like the idea of, of not having the on-screen controls, you, you do need the on-screen controls to be able to see where the mouse is. Otherwise, it's impossible to like save your game or load a game or talk to somebody or buy something in the shop. It's just not doable right now. Uh, down here is the GU, the GUI scale factor. I think that's what you do for uh, changing the font or the, yeah, the font of your text. And I'm not sure how it works. I don't know if you just type in a number or what, but that's, if the font is too small, I would experiment with that. So anyway, that's what you do. Uh, as soon as you click the APK back in uh, Total Commander here, if I'm in my USB drive down here at the bottom, I just click on that and it'll say install and you're good to go. So while I love the idea of the Elder Scrolls games on Android, this one is not quite ready for the light of day. I'll be keeping an eye on it though. In any case, do you like the idea of the Open Morrowind project? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and educational. Take care.